So look, all of this talk about U-turns, I want to look at the policy and what do you think that uh, we as a Conservative Party, you as a Conservative MP should be doing? Well, if the government does uh, the U-turn that's being talked about, then I think it's finished, frankly, because it would have lost all credibility. People like me who supported Liz Truss because she believed in low taxes and higher growth, we will feel completely betrayed. And to answer your question as to what should be done instead in order to uh, reduce the turmoil in the markets, my suggestion would be that we should reduce public expenditure. Uh, it doesn't mean cutting public expenditure. It just means, for example, freezing public expenditure. And that would be consistent with the Prime Minister's uh, promises. If we froze public expenditure, we'd save billions of pounds each year. And that would enable us to also reduce uh, taxes or keep our tax reductions in, in place and enable the economy to grow. Chris, you're, you've been in Parliament for, for many years. You've seen many leaders, prime ministers come and go um, contest. What, what's your assessment about the chances of Liz Truss surviving? Because that's what's on the, head, the front page of all the papers today. Can she, can she survive? What, what's your assessment about that? Well, it's in, it's in her own hands, because she's got a majority of 71. Uh, she's just won a leadership election, and she's got the support of a large number of backbenchers, including myself. Um, so is she going to stick to her guns? Is she going to um, lose her nerve and capitulate? Uh, if she sticks to her guns, and I've always regarded her as a, as a feisty a quiet, calm, but very intelligent uh, lady. Uh, I think that if she sticks to her guns, she will be saved. If she doesn't stick to her guns, she's doomed. Uh, lots of um, backbenchers will be reading the polls. I think I saw one today, 53% for Labour, 19% for the Conservatives. Many backbenchers will be looking at this, thinking, blooming heck, unless we do something here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose my seat. The party's going to be out of government. What can she do to, uh, to reassure those um, backbenchers that they should sit tight and, 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 and stick with her? By emphasising that we're not going to have a general election until uh, 2024, and by emphasising that uh, the, the government has got to get our economy uh, moving again. And we, we've had this uh, slow growth for years. And if the government's allowed to do what it wants to do, uh, then in the short term, it may be unpopular, but in the longer term, and that means by 2024, it will be popular. And just to give you an example, uh, when I was uh, leader of Wandsworth Council a long time ago, uh, but when we had a similar economic crisis in the early 1980s, we reduced um, our expenditure by some 20% over two years. That was in the short term, pretty unpopular. But the consequence of it was that for the next 40 years, the Conservatives retained control of Wandsworth Council because we were able to have the lowest council taxes in the country. So that's an example, from my own experience, of taking tough action, sticking out, uh, resisting the criticism, not caving in, and uh, then you will see the rewards in due course. And that's the I message that the Prime Minister's got to get across to our colleagues.